Hey guys, so how are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I have a few things to talk about. I'm drinking some raspberry green or herbal tea. Tea isn't really something you can binge on easily. Like, it's something that's just like, it's tea. Just having coffee and things like that, I don't feel comfortable putting creamer in my coffee anymore. I don't even think it tastes good. So, I was at therapy two days ago, and pretty much it's just my counselor. I just, she's more of a therapist. I don't really think of there as a difference. So, we talked about fighting with my mom, and basically my mom is just, she doesn't understand my eating disorder. So, they're just blaming me on eating food, and I'm not, <laughs> I wasn't the one eating food. At those times, I was in a restricting phase, and I wouldn't binge at all. And it hurts, especially when you're restricting when people blame you for eating food, because then you feel like you have to eat less and less until they stop blaming you for eating food. It's been like an every other day kind of thing for me, where one day I will be restricting, and then the next day I'll be binging and purging. Sometimes I find it comfortable to not eat. Sometimes I find it more comfortable comfortable to binge and perch. Different days, I have different moods. And I can't exactly control them. I can't control how I feel. It's always going to be different every day. It's not where I won't eat this day and then the next I won't eat. And then the next day after that. It's not like a week straight I don't eat. It's like I go through these phases where I'm either binging and purging on tons of food or I'm not eating at all. The day before yesterday was pretty bad. I I was binging and purging constantly throughout the day, even at school. I purged during language arts, I purged during science, I actually binged and purged during science. I was binging in the freaking bathroom on chips and someone walked in on me purging. Yesterday I was blocking out and things like that. Like I'd be getting I'd get up to do something and I'd like be like and it get all black and like sparkly around me and it was so cool but I was like whoa like it's not exactly scary for me it's like I want to pass out because that feeling when you're just you're so relaxed you're like nothing to do with anything so I want to pass out and it makes me feel like I'm succeeding at being sick I'm good at something even if it's self-destructive at least I'm good at doing something um, my legs, I'm wearing these Hollister pants because they're the only ones right now that make me feel like I'm not a complete fat blub of whale blubber. You yeah, guys probably going to be like, you don't look fat, why are you saying that you look skinny? But in reality, like, guys, come on, if you had my body, think about it. You guys would probably be like, okay, there's parts that I need to fix because there's no possibility for me to feel perfect. So even if you had someone else's body, you'd be like, there's this part that needs to be fixed. This part is too big. This part is too small. Things like that. It's, it's never going to be perfect. So really, my body's not perfect. I'm under 100 pounds now. Today, I was 98 point something, 97.6, something like that. And it scared me because a while ago, I was like 97 point something. And it's just like, I've gained weight. But I haven't even gained that much. It just, it feels like today I have so much more weight on me than I had yesterday. And right now, I'm supposed to be in school, but I'm not in school. I went for the first two blocks. I was going to go to the third block, but I got my food and I thought I had enough time to bring it home and walk back to school. I ended up eating it on the way to how home and I like started binging I had the urge to cut yesterday at night but I didn't and it makes me feel good that I didn't because if I would have cut it would have been there for longer because 
when I take pictures of my body now, I think, I don't want those scars to be there. But then again, I want those scars to be there. It's really contradicting. And the professionals don't exactly understand that eating disorders and mental illnesses are very contradictive of themselves. You either think you're fat or you think you're skinny. It's not, no. Like some days I think I'm skinny. Some days I think I'm fat. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, damn. And then I keep looking and I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> what was I thinking? No, this needs to be fixed. This needs to be fixed. This needs to get smaller and just things like that. So, yeah, I haven't been able to talk to Jaden for a while because he is busy with homecoming. It bugs me because we can't text and I like talking to him, but recently he's just been like short with me and I feel like I'm bugging him and like he's found someone new. You know, but maybe that's not, I'm just being paranoid, but you know, I, people have considered me paranoid about things that I worry too much and I do I worry a lot so guys I am going to go now not go anywhere but I'm just gonna shut this video off and edit it because I have repeated myself throughout this video and things like that I'm gonna go now bye I love you guys huh?